it's interesting to me before I read out of Psalms, it's interesting to me, and maybe I told you this, maybe I didn't. This series on emotions was written years ago. It was one of the first series of messages that I ever did. We put it out over the radio, and I was inundated from Christian people writing to me, talking about, wow, the emotions, talking about the emotions just struck them right in the face. And we don't like to admit it because we're taught that if we're good Christians, we should just be wonderful human smile buttons. Just put a smile on your face, Mikey, and get over it. That's what we're taught because we're taught stupid. I'm sorry for being so blunt. But people that say that to you aren't just wrong, they're stupid. And, and I, you know, people, I found, uh, and I need to get to reading, but I was going through some old, old materials, and I found a letter to the editor that had been written about me. And they said, Mike just thinks that he knows everything, and everybody just needs to fall in line with him. And I've told you so many times, I don't know everything but I speak passionately. I speak the truth to the best of my ability. And I'm not trying to come across as I know everything, but what I do know is that good, wonderful, awesome Christian people struggle with these things. Let's look at the writer in Psalms. Psalms 102 it, the, the title of it, A Prayer of the Afflicted, when he is overwhelmed and poureth out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as in hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. A sparrow alone upon the housetop. Mine enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of thine indignation and thy wrath. For thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declineth, and I am withered like grass. The writer has a relationship with God, and he's alone like a sparrow on the rooftop. And he's saying to God, you lift me up, and then you cast me down. Does God really do that? I will tell you this, there's days that it feels like it. There's days that it feels like you're in the middle of the battle all by yourself. And you hear no voice but the voice of your enemies screaming out to you, you will lose. Tune in tomorrow.